And if you're going to go through all of it, it is quite similar to various magnificas in the New Testament. Here in the Song of Hannah, you see how he would praise God and say that the life and death is in the hands of God. It is God that prospers. It is God that makes you Everything is in the hands of God. Amen. Amen. We believe that God. He is our God. If I am just an adopted father to my son and I want the best for them, how much more you, your biological father, dear children? But nothing beats our Father yeah. 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 Right. who has all of the capacity this He owns everything. Yeah. But I'm, you know that worry is a sin? Right. 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 Worry every day to pay your bills it is a sin. Right. 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 Trust God. Yeah. 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 Because He never changes. He is a God that is absent. I always tell my people, please remove from your vocabulary words like suerte. Oh, right. and words like, nawanawa naman ako yung Lord. Kaya nabili sa atin yung Bible eh, para natin siya unawain. Because He never changes. He is absolute. He's not relative, just like you and me. Minsan, niyakal na tayo ang asawa natin, bigay na lang, mas kinalang natin man. Niyakal na tayo ng anak natin, bigay nyo po, parang babysitter. Pag lumalakalit laki ng puti, hihingan tayo ng po. We will, you know, sweep all the floor, every corner, just to buy a po. Why should? Which is good. And so Hannah acknowledged God who gives life and takes life. I would like us to read from chapter 2 because of, uh, you know, we are missionaries, we're pastors. We're like Eli. We're like Hophni and Tineas. And so chapter 2 verses 24 down to 36 is uh, very good for each and every one. I know that you are not in their shoes, but it's a reminder for us pastors, missionaries, that we should always major on the major thing and minor on the major. And so stand up, please, let's give reverence and thank you God's word. And I always tell all of our visitors, members, whoever, in every banking camp, we are never apologetic in using King King. Amen. 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 Yes. Because God is perfect. Amen. Amen. I do not believe that all of the translations they aside from King James is God's word. Amen. 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 Because God is perfect, yes. then his book has a perfect yes, number of Amen. books. Amen. Perfect number of chapters. Amen. Perfect number of words uh, and God. even letters. Amen. He said he would purify his word. Right, he would preserve it. Amen. Yes. And so if you think there's you know other versions are God's word, you're wrong. Because my God is perfect. Yes, sir. Amen. He never commits mistakes. Amen. His arm is not short to preserve the King James Bible for you. Yeah. 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 Right. Have you noticed? that they are removing the King James from many bookstores. Yes. Yes. Because it's the truth. And we are living at the last days. Yes. Now, most popular by the people here. The mga soji. Imagine that committing a mistake. Na nakalimutan gawin yung third gender. That's a balong. What kind of that do you worship? There's only male and female. Yeah. Verse 27, And there came a man of God unto Eli. It's never named who this man of God is. 
And there came a man of God unto Eli and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Did I plainly appear unto the house of thy father when they were in Egypt in Pharaoh's house? Please read. And then Eli used to come out to all the tribes of Israel to be my And at mine offering, which I have commanded in thy habitation, and honors thy sons about me, to make yourselves fat with the chiefest of all the offering of Israel, my people. Wherever the Lord God of Israel is saying, I said indeed that thy house and the house of thy father should walk before me forever. But now the Lord saith, Be you far from me. For them that honor me and have honor, and they that despise me shall be like this seed. Verse 31. The old days come that I will cut off thy arm and the arm of thy father's house, that there shall not be an old man in thy house. And I will see an enemy in my habitation, and all the world which God shall give you to the right, and there shall not be an old man in thy house forever. And the man of thine, whom I shall cut cut off from mine altar, shall be to consume thine eyes, and to grieve thine heart, and all the increase of thine house shall die in the flower of the age. And they shall be unto thee, and two sons, Verse 35, and I will raise up a faithful priest that shall do according to that which is in my heart and in my mind. And I will build him a sure house, and he shall walk before my anointed forever. Verse 36 together. And it shall come at last, and every one that is left in that house shall come and crouch to me for a piece of silver and a morsel of bread. And shall say, Would me, I pray thee, into one of the priest's office, that I may give it to this Amen. Uh, it is interesting that uh, you don't hear it in our passage tonight, like this morning. And there came a man of God unto Eli. And said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Did I plainly appear unto thy house of thy father? And when they were in Egypt in Pharaoh's house, this is history. Remember how God chose the Levites to be the priest. And they're not going to inherit any land. And uh, they're served the covenant. But it is interesting to find out that in the western side of Jordan and on the eastern side of Jordan, there are six major cities that is reserved and ruled by Levites. I remember preaching about the uh, House of Refuge, which is uh, a house by Levites. You know this House of Refuge? Uh, they're exclusive for the Levites. And the Levites are not just to stay there and dwell. They're supposed to be on the highest part of that place, that refuge, and always awaiting for those who are seeking refuge. Right. And if you have killed someone, and the family of uh, that uh, person is after you to kill you, you have to run to the nearest yeah. house of refuge to save your life. And the priest ought to be always in the watchtower looking for a man seeking that refuge. But also leaning in. If there is water or river, the priest builds uh, a bridge. Pag may mga damo, mga rocks, dinasandal ng priest yan. Kaya wala po statue papunta sa house of refuge. Because uh, they're 
they are afraid of their life for the person that they have killed or accidentally killed. Well, anyway, uh, this man is from the tribe of Levi, Eli. And uh, we must be aware that, uh, you know, God has blessed us with gifts. <laughs> and He wants us to be responsible for the gifts. Amen. Your children is a gift from God. Amen. Your wife, your lost dream is a gift from God. Amen. Your ministry is a gift from God. Amen. Amen. Oh, I would like to commend those uh, singers, their voices, the talents of the whole songs. Amen. Songs that are really you know, Baptist Amen. to the grave. Amen. So we are responsible for whatever gifts you have received. Ang gifts meron pa? How are you being responsible for that? Amen. God has blessed you with men and women in the ministry. Minsan, maski may panawagan yung tao nyo, ay yung pakawala. Oh. Are you building your kingdom or God's kingdom? Amen. I do not mind losing my people to follow in heart and do the Lord. Amen. And God replenishes them. Amen. Pero kung meron kayo taong gusto kong taong Vietnam or yung Hotel, let them go. Amen! Pag sisisi kayo, pag nagulog, Indian sa loob. Pag nadama yan ng ibang sang. Diba? Pag nagkailangan siyang gulog pa kamatis, bukas, ilan na yung gulog. It's a bit for us to discern if your mind is really important. Amen. But make sure that you equip them well. Amen. You Amen. teach them ethics. Right. Amen. Missionaries are in the mission field to win souls. Sometimes there are mga missionaries na ang ihiram ng tao. Dapat, puro mo kang gumawa ng sarili ng tao. Right. Missionary ka nga eh. You know, we have been blessed with gifts. And we are responsible for that. Look at what he said. There was a man from God that came to Eli and said to him, God said the Lord, Did I plainly appear unto the house of thy fathers when they were in Egypt in Pharaoh's house? Take note of the personal pronoun. It has been mentioned 27, 28 times. And this is God's. And did I choose him out of all thy tribes? We're chosen. Pinili tayo ng parang we were handpicked for a purpose. Not to build our kingdom, but to build his kingdom. Yeah. He said, come and follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. Amen. Praise God for those twelve. You know, when the Lord Jesus Christ was thrown, by multitudes. It was thrown by no less than about 40,000 men and women. That's what Joseph says. When he preached on that river Galilee, the, the reason why he had to be on the boat is to address everyone. A crowd of about 30,000, 40,000. I am not sure if you are not sure and so they try to, you know, discredit the Lord Jesus Christ. But can anyone fight that? Is there already a weapon that has been made to destroy what God wants to do? Any more restrictions for visa? That's just for us to trust God. Because a faith that cannot be trusted, I cannot be tested, cannot be trusted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, And so, the Lord Jesus Christ said, I have chosen you. Though there were 40,000, no less than 40,000 following the Lord Jesus Christ. Weren't there just about 120 who was with him on that upper 
Okay, na tayo kinawa. I remember a book that says Preacher, please quit. Because there are many preachers out there that has never been owned by God. They're into it because of the money. Because of the fame. The prestige. Sure that you're truly owned by God. And make sure that whatever God has given you, you're using it for His honor. Amen. And did I give unto the house of thy father all the offerings made by fire? Because the young man is like, "Yeah, now you offer me my tapoy." At when did they man sell it? Nay, they gave me to me. Ayoko nang ilagag sa kung iihaw yan. At pag hinilaw nila binigay, kukunin pili na. Ipok niya at saka ni... This is how God told us to serve. To be a thief. To take the perspective of God. I heard one missionary say, Dito ka na sa Cambodia. Alik ka na rito. Dito lang ako nagka-coche. Wait for Kiki at Masa. Saan ko minun yun? But pick out God from our ministry. at my offering, which I, again, have commanded in my habitation, and orders thy sons above me to make yourselves fat with the cheapest of all the offerings of Israel Almighty. Be careful, preachers. I'm also having problem with my children. Let us honor God about our children. Yes. Black is black. White is black. That's why I lost one of my son. And I do not know if I'll be losing another one. But I will stand on my ground. For as long as you are living in my house, feeding from the food that came from God, being clothed with blessings coming from God, have to come. If you cannot follow me, the door is wide open. And I lost one. It grieved my heart. But it will grieve not only my, uh, my heart, but my life if I do not follow God. Do not prepare your children before honor God. You are responsible whatever gift God has given. Yes, sir. Your phones, your iPads, your computers, the gift. Mm. Amen. That's a gift from God. Amen. Make sure that God is honored even in those touches. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Wherefore the Lord God of Israel said, I said indeed that thy house and the house of thy father should walk before me forever. That's why, please take note, if you're being called to the ministry, one of it, Amen. Praise God for the pastor at the corner. 80 years still pastor. Would to God that on the last breath that I would have, I would still be serving. But please take note that we are not God to know our future. Let's just take care of today. Sometimes you might be fully taking care of them. It's God that rules, and He still rules today. You should walk before me forever, but now the Lord said, "Be far from me." For them that honoreth me, I will honor, and they that despise me 
shall be lightly There's no such thing as the history of the Abantes, or the Lauvenas, or Nampes, or uh, Gisalva. We're all people who forgot. Do not be discouraged Amen. if your church is wrong. Be discouraged if you have a big church, but that intends you only to have a small church. Minsan, we make methodologies para lang maraming tao. It's not after numbers. From 40,000 to 12. And this 12 is the reason why you and I are saying Just 12 men! Minsan, o, ilan ang tentas mo yun? O, pili mo makan? So God sends ravens. You know that with a small number of members we are, we are supporting 120 missionaries. I, I do not brag about that. I brag about my God. What my God can do, He can also do. He feeds your God. He said, we must walk with him forever. Amen. Not single. That's why we're on retirement family. I praise God that, that this church has paid for everything. You know, see, maybe about 75% of my travels I've never paid for. Because God knows that I have no resources. Imagine having five six children. All of them are studying. Well, C. Peter, his second, is a secretary of mine in my office. Siya yung nagka-problema. I mean, John is the one that left already, but now, at present, I have a problem. But, uh, you know, I give to God. Who will know that like Pussy Peter will stay here with me? So be it. Pero kung will mo na kan siya, ang pangagawa ko. Look down. I trust you. It, I feel bad. But imagine letting God feel bad about you. That's worse than death. Right, yeah, man, right, right. Ikabul, when the glory of God departs, it's better to be dead. Do not let God depart from your midst. Amen. As you can see, my amma, my lunga, if God is not there, it's a better day. God gives sends ravens once in a while. Alam mo yung church namin? We are surrounded by Carl's Jr. in front. KFC. Sa Pagdamol. Sa across that is Burger King. We have Cold Stone. We have Glory Jeans. We are in the Makati of Nampin. We are stone throw away from the independence moment. Pero building namin, 140 years old. Isang anay na lang, babagsak na lang. Really? That's what has been in our church. Pero, pinigisa namin yan, all white kami. Sa loob na aming auditory. All by His grace. We're praying for a four-story building. Sa kami, pumuha ng pera. Pwede nyo pala, di sa financial natin. Amen. He still comes. He never changes. 
do not be afraid to launch out the deep because he is everywhere oftentimes we just stay on the coastal areas afraid of there might be a storm in the middle of the sea or maybe there's going to be a big whale that will bring you to Whale University. <laughs> Trust God. Amen. He has never failed me. Amen. And you will never fail me. Amen. He said he never fails. Amen. <clears throat> Trust him. He is yes. God. Amen. Praise the Lord. In all the days come that I will cut off thine heart. Imagine you will be cut off of God. This is a warning for us. For us. Right. I suffered so a thousand years. But I'm still alive. Right. God is not yet through with me. The youngest brother go, we visited him. He works for the United Nations. He's in St. Louis. Last night, we visited him. Mas bata sa akin yun ang mga six, seven years. Brother Tan. He has stage three cancer. And he has always told me, Kuya, you eat this, eat this, eat this. I said, I take care of my health. I watch what I eat. But God gives life. Amen. And He takes life. Do the will of God. I'm not discouraging you from eating, you know, sumptuously, but He's going to forget to thank God. Sometimes you, you know, as ministers, preachers, missionaries, <laughs> we go through the rhythm. Pray lang, ganyan, tapos, take care of Ano yung kabudya? Yung faith ko na tamasin. Yung dito sa Pilipinas, pray ko lang ng, you know, the rhythm, parang parehas lang din yung prayer natin. Jesus Christ, yun ang kakain na. Sa kabudya, talagang sabi mo, Lord, lilisin mo ito. One of the experience that uh, I did not forget, cannot forget, I went on visitation and it was on the railway station and in Tecla. Eh, I the church. And uh, I was welcomed by the family. Alam niyo yung bahay doon, yung in stilts, may mga paa, mga haba. Ibig sabihin, nagbabahal sa lugar na yun. So, dalawa ko doon. At ang um, school play nila, pag gabi ko yung binigyan ng entry, I'm not saying no. You will affect the culture. You will get your walk on the road. You will get your walk on the road. You will get your walk on the road. I'm not going to go to the visit. Before I come to the house, I'm going to get my food. 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 Pero silang malaking baka, nasa ang tao sa loob, tapos siya na yung nakatapat sa alunod na galing sa buko. Eh meron pong sasapa. Hindi pa lang kung may pauli at kung ano lang pa. Not to mention yung alikubo. Eh siyempre sa alikubo, pag dumura ako sa sahib at pag dumulod, sama sa alikubo ko yun. Nakalain mo ang Hindi lang yun eh, yung baso nila, aming na pamilya sa isang bahay na At ang baso na isa. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos yung, yung puli yung baso, sa itali yung sasaw, sa kami puli yung baso, sa hindi sa iyo. Ako pa pray na makin na tubig lang yun. You have to thank God for it. And when you pray, pray. Ayaw ko yung salawa sa gusto mineral lang. Tapos hindi po ang gusto yung mineral. Hindi mo silang. 
we ought to be good stewards. Amen. Yeah. 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 So, yan, every Sunday, kung tapos kumain ng lahat, kasi every Sunday, man. yung mga tubig na hindi na ubos, kinokulit pa kaya. Ginigilig ko siya lang. <laughs> stewards. Kaya, the money for you, kasi. Kung hindi ka mo pagkat wala sa sito, hindi ka pa kagbibili sa daan. Praise God in every chance. There shall not be an old man in thy house forever. Imagine, Eli's family was set up from the reason. And the man of thine whom I shall not cut off from thine altar shall be to consume that look, we can lose blessings. And God can give it to others. Yes. But God has designed us to receive blessings. But we can do so because we have not been paid to do I'd like to count the message short. What is that deliverance? Instead of, I'm not discouraging you to visit the Philippines and know all of the islands, 7,000 plus depending on high tide or low tide. <laughs> but even everywhere you go, you have to measure on the beach. So, I go on one taxi driver one day here in the Philippines. Every time I ride any uh, public transportation, I always make sure that I share the word. Ito ba naman mag-abang ka ng taxi sa Dian? Sa corner ng Dian at with Dian? Mga mamungkit ka dyan. So, tagal ko nang tayo, para ng taxi, may mga taxi, walang naman, ayaw naman gusto. May kumalabig sa akin sa likod. Taxi driver. Sabi niya, taxi ko. Galing? The Lord, alam ko lang, may kaya pa rin. Eh. Hindi po. I was thinking of how to break the ice. Siya pa ang nag-ishi. Tapos kayo po punta, ano ang gagawin mo? Hanggang maya maya, sabi niya, yung anak ko gagraduate mamaya. At why congratulations mo? Ano mo ba, high school, college, gagraduate na high school? Kaya lang, wala akong pangjali. Minsan, sipin mo, Oh, we can get on and take that. <laughs> but only stay positive. Yes, yes. Use it as a leverage. Amen. Amen. And I started preaching. Amen. Amen. Okay, me, I'm going to say something. 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 What a blessing! Amen. Amen. And we pray the same respect. When he opened his heart, realized that he is lost, that he is Jesus Christ, he got saved. Amen. And then, on top of the Peter break, congratulations to that. Let's go under for so. Amen. God has blessed you. Be responsible for you. Remember the universal principle. But be so. God has blessed us. And I know He will continue to bless us. And we have the same task. He will bless you too. Be responsible. God has blessed us. As all eyes are closed, and it's fall down. I'd like to ask our preacher here, please come and 
is to be diligent with Habang nakapikit ang mga pagkakaito ng ulo, hindi mo na kailangan ng marami pang salita. Nandyan na. Huwag ginawasan ka ng Diyos. 